Hey guys, it's Tracy from Mejia's Family Farm. Just wanted to give you guys a quick tour of the land. Um, what we've done so far since moving here March of 2019. And yes, I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone today. So I'm doing two videos today. Uh, the second one, which is this one, <laughs> will be out tomorrow. So you guys, um, let me just give you a quick tour. As you can see, behind me is our generator, that green thing over here. Uh, and that was also um, mentioned in the last video of how we power the house uh, when there's no sun or um, wind. But let me get, give you guys a quick tour of what we've done so far with the land. And look at that beautiful wind turbine. All you see is the pole back there. But you guys, let me show you a picture of um, some of the cabin. I'm sorry. Uh, our chicken coop that we built um, and the other things that we have done so far. Um, there is a lot to come. We do plan on getting goats next summer. Um, so that's another thing we have to build is a goat pen. Um, but let me turn the camera around, you guys, and show you what we've done so far. All right, you guys are gonna get a beautiful view. That little area over here is going to be our garden. Right now, we are supplied from our, with our neighbor, who's down that a ways. I don't know if you could see the top of the house. <clears throat> Excuse me, but they provide us with an abundance of like our herbs and stuff like that that I use within my body products um, but over here you're gonna see just a bunch of weeds that we got to pull that's sagebrush and tumbleweeds and all that and then over here we have our chicken coop this is what my husband built for me and I love it we currently have nine chickens or I would say baby chicks right now they're kind of all hiding in the coop See if I can open the door so y'all can see my little babies. Not so babyish anymore. They're gonna go flying and making a bunch of noise, but they know mama's coming. And there they are. Look at my little cuties. Oh, there's my babies. You can't come out just yet. They're still chicks, so I don't really want to let them free range right now. Um, wonderful pallets that we received from another neighbor about two miles away. We have our burn barrel over here which I use on a daily basis pretty much. Um, and then we have our composting bin. That's where our bathroom stuff goes, as well as uh, food scraps. We do plan on changing that in the future to have a second one just for food scraps and the second one just for uh, bathroom facilities. And then over here, you're gonna notice our driveway that we hand dug. Um, and then down here, I wanted to give you guys a quick view we, I made a cute little rock garden. We've had friends and, and all that come over and paint rocks and we've had rock parties. That's from the neighbor down the way and same people that gave me the uh, pallets. And then we got this one. This was from a wonderful girl. Her name is uh, Alex or Alexandra. And my husband and I did a bunch of these. This is also from Alexandria or Alex. And then we got some more. And then I plan on adding a bunch more later. You guys, let's just take a quick walk. Pardon the mess back here. We're still in uh, the building stages. That's our wonderful cabin there. That's 12 by 32. Uh, we have our rain gutters, as well as our rain barrel catchment system. It isn't connected and we lost out on a bunch of water yesterday because my husband wants to make sure that he's going to put the spigot first before it gets um, filled with water. Otherwise, the water is just going to leak out anyway. And over here, we have our water tank. We have to take this to the city for water because we do not have a well right now. So, in all essence, <coughs> this, to fill this up four times, it only costs us about $2. So, to me, it's cost effective. Um, and then once we are, once we have come back from the city with our water tank filled, we use our um, pump right here and we transfer it into this wonderful tank. And this tank is plumbed into the house. Um, it is plumbed. As you can see, it goes into the house. Um, we do have a RV water filter on here and it is plumbed and pumped into the house using an RV water pump. So that's pretty cool. And yep, there you go, guys. Let's take a little tour of the front of the house. 
I love it. We have some solar lights that go on at night. Um, we do get coyotes here, so it's always um, a benefit to have your lights turn on when it, they see movement. Um, but that's our beautiful house. And right now, I'm going to turn the camera back around. You guys, right now, everything works for us perfectly. Um, we have our water, which is fairly cheap from the city. It's easy to get to the city. It's about 13 miles, however. It's only because where we live, there's our dirt road is at least two miles from us. So, And then it's another uh, 11, 12 miles into town. But it's so beneficial. $2 to fill that up for about four times. And usually because we are very, uh, we can serve. Uh, we only, we take showers once a day, of course. Uh, we wash our dishes every day, our hands when we're working out in the garden and we need to, you know, clean up. We give our dogs baths and that lasts us about three, four weeks. That's a 275 gallon tote. So um, it, sometimes it can last us two weeks, you know, but three weeks is pretty much the average. Uh, let's just say that we enjoy living here. There's nothing wrong with living off grid, semi off grid in our case. Um, and the reason I say off our case is because we do get water from the city. Um, to get a well built here, um, I believe our neighbors paid over $20,000 and it's not something that's in our budget right now. So we'd rather pay the $2 and it'll last us possibly three, four months you can't beat that. So you guys, I am just gonna give you a little short tour of the outside and you can see that there's nobody really close to us. Um, and you know, we can scream, we, we can, I don't know, just have a party here and no one's really gonna hear it unless they're invited. But uh, you guys, let me just give you a quick tour. I'm gonna, you're gonna see the front of the house. And this is just so peaceful. And at night, the sky is amazing. Sometimes it's pitch black. Sometimes it's just uh, beautiful stars are out and you see the moon and it's just beautiful. And the one thing that I find pretty amazing living here in Arizona is in the morning when the sun is set, um, rising, apologize, when the sun is rising, you can see the moon on the, oh gosh, I'm assuming it's the west side um, or the east. I'm not sure which way the sun sets, but um, the moon is on this side and then the sun is setting from the uh, rising from the east. I believe that's how it goes. Um, but it's so beautiful because you see them both in the sky at the same time. And it's pretty amazing. Up in the east coast, it's not something that you see often. Uh, you guys, I'm going to end this video here. You guys have a blessed day and thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share and put that thumbs up for me. You guys have a wonderful day. We'll see you soon.